Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing pretty well. Well, I also wanted to welcome myself back to my channel because I have not been doing a video for the longest time because I have to finish my... Uh, actually, this is my third. I have the small, the more. This is my fourth my fourth journal book and I wanted to share uh, with you guys what I have been doing so I have completed another book so let's get started so it's just this is a flip through because this is done so see how uh, thick it is so let's go to the first page there you go that's my lucky turtle there and my if I should be needing that. Okay, so if you can see, this is my first page. It's just uh, more of a flip through. I would not, uh, if I can discuss some of it, I will. So let me know what the pages that you would, uh, that you like most. Probably you could leave a comment if you wish. So this is my first page. It says journal with me. So that's my very first page and this is my second page I went to an Egypt theme and uh, actually this is like this is a bit this is open here if you could notice but since it's been uh, the book has been closed so it's flattened up but that's the idea of that one and I put some beads and flowers and the butterfly and then let's go to the next this is a creepy page which I made probably I can give you a closer look see how I made this one here okay there you go that's the next one over there and then let's turn on the page to the next And this is a very uh, dainty page with a girl there. And uh, some of those things here. Yeah, I'll just lift it up to because I can't move my camera all the time. It's much easier if I just, you know, lift it up a little. There you go. And let's go to the next page. This is something about the ocean. Oops, move that there. And if you would notice, I have uh, glitterized uh, stickers here that I used. There you go. Okay, on to the next. This one, I really don't like much of it, but probably I went crazy again yeah that's it sometimes making a journal I want to define something about it sometimes it really is hard to create ideas on your journal there you go and then we'll go on to the next page there this one I would also tell you what I really like most see I got an angel there see you can look at the details over there it's just a mixture of bits and pieces and cutouts I have posted my journals always on Instagram and I would give them a theme over here my pages is starting to break again because of the thickness I'm trying, I put a glue on it so that, you know, it would save the page there. There one, another page here. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Yep. One of my favorites. A peeping girl. There. 
one of my favorites there. Very, very lovely. And then on to the next. This was about love with a cupid on that. There you go. There's this uh, pet stickers. And this is a cut out from a pattern paper. And I just stick some um, bits and pieces there and some hearts. And if you will notice, this is also a fabric uh, textured paper. There you go. Mm -hmm. And this one is also something uh, creepy or a little detective wise. <laughs> I just try to, uh, you know, get new ideas. Sometimes when you start your journal and you put the pieces on it, you would like, you just wanted to add more. And sometimes it creates a theme. And now this is, I can open this up over here to make it dramatic, <laughs> if you can say that. <laughs> Okay, on to the next page. This one over here, this actually is already loose, but you know, I just, that's why I put, actually this is, um, actually I think I made a mistake. I shouldn't put this one, but then again, just that's it. And then we have here the ocean. There you go, so that you could see it. I use sometimes uh, distress ink or paints, and I also use pattern paper that has already uh, a good background, you know, and just, you know, combined it with others. And this is another one here. There you go. You can see it well. There. And then on to the next. This one is also pretty. See? I just, you know, these are cutouts or from a pattern paper. And I just stick the angels there. And I did a little of coloring here. Uh, a little paint there. There. could see it well there then another the next one is this one so this is the uh, that binds my um, book I just put it there and this is something different like you know sometimes the uh, stickers is really uh, very transparent that's why you could see the other decorations that goes through the the stickers but it's not too bad and this is another one that I made there you go uh, just put some mushrooms and bits of flowers and there you go not really that bad And over here, I, uh, you know, the spaces here, I just doodled it with uh, a marker over here. Just, you know, put some circles to, so that the black spaces are filled in. Here's another one here with an angel. There. Actually, this... The faces goes together. I just cut them and put one side here and one side over there. And that's how it looks like. There. And then on to the next page. Oh, this one is so nice. I do have a uh, journal, I mean, cut and collage books that I also have in my stash or I bought it and... I have not shared them, but, you know, 
these are also some bits of pieces that I um, put on together something cartoony this is another one here I just you know hmm let's just try this and try that and until I came out with this one and this is see the pages over here it's like the I have not pasted them well and this is something spooky this also came from a uh, cotton collage book that I just cut out and incorporate some stickers here and there yeah actually I do have titles for this but you know I didn't write them down <laughs> okay there you go and then oh this is this is a um, this stick this cutouts are for from Marami I th probably everybody knows it it's very popular cut and collage book the fairies are just adorable there mm -hmm. and then on to the next oh this one is like also this uh, paper here is from a collage and collage book cut and collage and I just put some stickers of uh, cups and tea use it as as her hair then and I just put small people there there small people if you could see it there there and then here is like I have some animals of uh, pieces of uh, paper that from my stash and I always wanted to use the uh, vintage ladies and incorporate them together yeah you see you have the butterfly and they got wings over here I place wings at their back and some instruments and just combine them together okay on to the next uh, this is just you know i'm sometimes i'm running out of ideas and i just okay let's just put this and put that and then sometimes it becomes so busy but it's all right for once in a while you have to do something that you, you just don't know how to do it but once you stick them together there's already something about it okay this one actually I is unfinished but you know I just left it this way but you know it turned out to be also nice I hope my birds are really visible but they are not really that visible yeah there you go and we're almost almost done Oh, this is a ghost. I wanted to do a ghost theme. So this is a creepy theme. Just stick on the papers and stickers. In my background, I have this in my... This is a uh, pattern paper on a 12 by 12 card stock. Just put that there. And I'll put that one in. The, the lady is very different from the other ghost. It's creepy, no? <laughs> I would be doing more Halloween I'm just waiting for my journal book and this is another one from Marami Marami cut and collage book the houses came from there and the fairy and the clouds the rabbits the animals but this is a pet stickers that I uh I did here and this is a butterfly too from that book yeah there you go there so that you could see the details there okay and 
next one is this is my theme that it's it's something about your mom is far away from you and she's behind bars or something sometimes my pieces have a meaning sometimes if actually in journal or collage you can just create anything and you know interpret it in your own way and I just put this one to be a little more because just viewing this is a little bit sad but when you go into here it keeps away the um, sadness I hope <laughs> and this one is going on to the towards the end it's just a bit of pieces like it's not very visible because the, the pet is the pet tape is so thin that's why it's nice that you put something white first and then cut it out but sometimes it doesn't give you a good result so that's all right so that's for and of course my last page which is a, a picture of me <laughs> and uh, the author but over at the back I have not written anything yet but that's all right so this is my very last page a thank you to the people who enjoyed my journal or would like to see my journal so there you are guys until my um, my next uh, book I will be sharing you again sometime soon so for now um, I'll leave it at east and I'll try my best to come back again but i i do have a lot of haul but a uh, new hauls but i don't really have the time to share them but probably soon i will so until then i hope everybody enjoyed my uh, video i'll see you again soon thank you for watching and bye for now